have you ever been in a situation where you knew what to do and you didn't do it and it led to disaster, not just for you, but also for your family and your friends? Let's talk about it today on Betty Talk. Betty Talk. Betty Talk. Betty Talk. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of Betty Talk where the intention of these video blogs is to help motivate you to be the best that God wants you to be. For the past eight years, I work for a humanitarian organization where I go on site to different companies to teach health and safety classes, particularly CPR classes. I often say I'm anywhere from NASA to tattoo shops. Well, for the past eight years, I've been doing this, but when I first started teaching classes, they would pair me with someone to take me through the ropes and teach me how everything went. Well, this one particular time, I was on my own teaching a class at a high secure place. Now, at this time, I wasn't used to being in high secure places, and I wasn't used to teaching alone. I was still new to the curriculum, so I'm gonna be honest, I was in there new and nervous. Not a good combination. Well, I'm going through the curriculum at the beginning of the class, and right in the middle of a class, this guy collapses. I'm so embarrassed to tell you how I acted in the class, because I was supposed to know this stuff, right? But I panicked. My heart was beating fast. I'm like, oh no, oh my goodness, I'm really gonna have to do this stuff. So I told the participants to put the gentleman on the floor. I was running to my purse to get my breathing barrier. I thought I was gonna have to actually do CPR on him. But once we got the gentleman on the floor, he started having a seizure and we just waited with him till the paramedics came in. Boy, that was a nerve wracking experience. But I learned a very valuable lesson during that. It's one thing to have information, but it's a whole nother ball game to be able to take that information and translate it into real life. See, it doesn't matter that I know already how to do CPR or I know what to check for. I could have just stood there frozen with all this information in my head and did nothing. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. It's great to have a lot of information. That's wonderful. But information without application doesn't do you any good. And you know this already. You know, hey, I know I need to lose 20 pounds. But just knowing that doesn't solve anything. It's actually what we do with the information in real life that makes a difference. Or you probably have said, I am up to my head in debt. I know I need to stop spending. But when we feel the pressure, we go ahead and whip out that credit card again. Or you know that I have my anger is out of control. Every time I get in a situation, I just feel like my head wants to explode. I know how to manage my anger, but when I get in the situation, I need to know what to do about it. The Bible says in James chapter one, verse 22, but be doers of the word and not only hearers, and here, check this out, deceiving yourselves. James is encouraging us that we need to take the information that we know. I know I need to forgive. I know I need to stop spending. I know I need to stop acting like a crazy lady when I get in situations that are uncomfortable for me. Take what we know to do, what the Bible asks us to do, and put it into our lives for real. So here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to take the one thing that you know that you can work on. I'm not talking about gathering more information about that thing. I'm talking about the one thing that you can do. So for example, if you know that your spending is out of control, I want you to take your credit card and do something with it. Now I'm not gonna tell you to cut it up, but do something with it so that you, one thing that you can do, how about, hey, I know I eat too much. I need to lose this weight. I feel like God's been talking to me about doing this. You got all the information about how to do that already, but what is the one thing you can do? So for example, for breakfast, maybe instead of eating four donuts, maybe you could just eat two donuts, okay? So let's just think about one thing that we can do to actually apply to our lives. And I'm telling you from experience, life becomes much more richer and fulfilling when we not only get information about what to do, but we actually put into practice what we know to do. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of Betty Talk, where the intention of these video blogs is to help motivate you to be the best that God wants you to be. Hey, let me say this too. We have had so much positive feedback on this Betty Talk. I'm just so excited about that God is using me this way. But we want to hear from you. If you have a comment or a question, there's going to be email coming up at the end of this Betty Talk, and I hope to hear from you. Well, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.